Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a geo map in Google Sheets or a geography map. And basically, what you can do is you can create kind of like a chloropleth map and have different shades or different colors of the map represent values. So it's going to look something like this. And this is where you would have, this is, this is map United States, and, and these will be like the different shades of green to indicate from a low amount, like here 7, to a high amount, 3,615, 3, and maybe these could be the number of stores or just some kind of, of quantitative values. And something extra at the end of the video, more of a bonus, I'll show you how to create something using the Google Maps feature with data that you have in your Google Sheets. So it could look something like this. And that's where we'd have these markers. You, if you ever use Google Maps, you would be familiar with these markers here that would show your location. And you, when you hover over one of them, it can actually show the values that you have in your Google Sheets. So that'll pre probably be near the very end of the video. So let's get right into it. So in Google Sheets, to create the geo map, all you really need are two columns. One column that will give you the location, whether it be a city and state or, or zip, and the other column would give you a numerical value, a count of something, or maybe the revenue of that particular row. And here we have a chart or a table that has the a limited num amount of stores, Starbucks stores in the United States. This is only about 3,000 rows here, um, records here. Uh, there's obviously more Starbucks stores. Uh, out there, but uh, this only has about a subset of it. Also, I'd have these latitude and longitude columns. Unfortunately, in Google Sheets, it's not very easy to chart latitude and longitude. And I'll show you actually how to do that later on. That's a, another bonus I'll, I'll put out there and how you can re reverse geocode your latitude and longitude and chart it out into a map with Google Sheets. But let's get right into how we do the regular geo mapping. We have to turn this kind of into a two column table and the easiest way to do that is turn this into a pivot table. Let's go to data and let's see, I think pivot tables here. And let's just count out the amount of states uh, that have a Starbucks, right? So this, let's put this on a new sheet, create, and it's automatically picked up the range of data that I need. And I will put in the values field, the count of stores. Let's put the, the count of stores by state, let's just put the count of state, right? So we have the count, total count is 3615. Let's go by the state. Let's put in the rows, the state. So it's gonna count up the amount of stores within each state, right? So as you can see here, we've got the number of stores that equals 3615 we had earlier. I don't think I need to show that total, so I'm gonna uncheck that. And click anywhere within this pivot table, go to insert, chart and it's going to pick up a pie chart it's going to try to guess the best type of chart to put on here and pie chart really isn't what we're looking for so we need to go under where it says chart type and go scroll to near the bottom and we're going to put a map so right now you can see that it's really not picking up things well here and what we need to do is we need to customize a little bit it's looking at the whole world data and we're look, only looking at United States data. So we have to go under where it says customize, go to geo, and instead of the region of the world, we want the United States. You can see that there's other options here. So depending on what type of locality you are mapping it, you can select the appropriate one. But here we want United States, and now it has found the amount of stores in the United States. You can see, you can see under like, we'll start with A, let's say A, we have Alaska, there's 18, so it picked up Alaska. And these are the color defaults. And if we didn't like it from red to green, we can say, okay, at the minimum where we have our seven, maybe we want to have a gradient like I did earlier, or maybe a light green. And then the max would be the dark green. Uh, that's fine. And maybe like a middle color instead of this, this kind of pasty color, let's make it a little bit, um, a kind of a light green there. So you have some kind of gradient. Maybe we'll make this one a little darker. So it picks it up there. Yeah, so you can see now we've got a gradient there from light to dark. And that is our basic geo map in the Google Sheets tool. Now, that doesn't give us a lot of information because it kind of it kind of lays it out nicely. It's very simple. But what if we wanted to have it where we had markers to indicate 
in the different localities in California. So there's a lot of different stores in California. Uh, out of this 1,000, it probably ranges a lot. And so we would have to kind of concatenate our data a little bit more. So what we can do is we need to kind of adjust our uh, table here. We need, probably need to combine the city and state together. And I'm going to do that here. Let's make a new column here and we'll put, we'll put city and state. Right? And here, I'm going to use a function called concatenate. Concatenate, we're going to concatenate two values. So we can put those, well actually there's going to be more values that we want to concatenate because we want to have it with a comma. So let's use the other concatenate function. We, there is a concatenate function here. Double click that. And now we can concatenate multiple values, right? String one, string two. And I want to concatenate, we'll close this one. We'll concatenate Alaska, and we want to have a comma in between, so I need to add text here, comma, space, close it in quotes, and then the third string is my state. Oh, so the first string should have been my city here, so I'll put D2 here, and then this first one should have been C2, right? So that should have been that should have been uh, city and then state. Now i got to close parentheses, press enter, and now you see it's picked it up. Now it also has auto-filled it, auto -filled it, so it suggested an auto-fill, that's fine, and I'll just press control enter, so it will populate it all down there, all right? And as you see, if I scroll down, you can see it has populated here, Eagle River, Alaska, Birmingham, Alabama, that's fine. And now with this, I can actually put it in to a, another pivot table. I'll select my range here, Let's see, let's see if it actually picked it up. If I clicked over here, let's see if Google Sheets is smart enough to pick that up. So I'll go to data, uh, pivot table, and let's see if it picked up a new pivot table, H3616. So it did pick it up. It did pick up the 3616 as the last row there. So I will click create to put it into a new sheet. And this will be where I'm gonna do something similar again. I will put the values here. Let's count the city and state values. And we're going to put in the rows, the city and state. So now it's going to count it. Double click to auto fit that there. And see, we have a different count here now, right? So if we go look at California, there's a bunch of different ones there. So let's see if we use a different geo map and see how this works out. So I will go under insert, go to chart. Let's close this pivot table editor. And it brought a column chart, which we don't need. And we're going to do the same adjustment we did earlier and let's close this out. Click on the chart here, and there should be a edit, these three dots, click that, edit chart, bring up the navigation pane here. We don't want a histogram chart, we want the other map chart, and this is a geo, marker with mar geo chart with markers. Click on that, we have to do the same thing we did earlier. You can see it's starting to populate that, it's probably going out. And you can see it's gone out, uh, and source the information for those cities. Let's go to customize and bring this down to the United States like I did earlier. And let's see, it's probably gonna start building it out again. And if it doesn't, we probably try, might wanna try to refresh this and see if it's going to pick that up. And let's see if Google servers will pick this up. It's working, working, working. And as the map draws out, hopefully, it will pick up the locations and start to populate the map. And you can see it does. And we've got some dots here. And what we can do is we can probably also get rid of that, that um, total. And so if I go back into the pivot table editor, let's not show the totals. And let's see what that brings for us. So this is taking a little bit longer. So instead of having it draw out, let's kind of limit it. Let's do maybe one state. And I will put a filter in here. Let's do it by California. Or we'll do it by New York. How about that? We'll do it by New York. One of the bigger, or Florida, any one of the bigger states. Clear, or which whatever one shows up first here. Let's see. I guess it would be California. Let's see. Click OK. And now it's just going to have California. Oh, interesting. Let's see which store has 40, which, which city has 40. Select its control F. 
type 40 here. 40, Sacramento, California. Huh, that's pretty interesting that Sacramento, California would have that many Starbucks stores there. But that's the way you can do a geo map or geo chart with markers. Now, these are fairly straightforward maps to create. All you really need are two columns. One that is the locality and the second for a quantity or a count of something. Now, what if you didn't have that? What if you just had the uh, latitude and longitude and maybe some marker here? You would have to find some uh, address, at least something like a s address, city, state, uh, country for this to properly work. If you just had latitude and longitude, there actually is a workaround on for this. There is on the Stack Overflow article or this form or this question and answer form, you can actually find some code that you can put in there. And this is the code that you would need. You can just read through it. I'm not going to read through it here. You can just read through it. And basically what we're doing is creating another function where you just input the latitude and longitude and it will find a address for you. So to get into the scripting function here, you have to go under, I think it's under tools, and under tools is the script editor, and we just need to paste that script in there. I copied it, and we're gonna paste it into the script editor. Now the script editor, uh, it's gonna call for the function name, and the function name here that I copied, it's called geocode. So you need to type that in, equal geocode, and then provide the latitude longitude uh, arguments. So as this comes up, let me see if hopefully it'll come up quickly. I'll put it in. So my function is there. I'll just delete this. I'll just overwrite uh, these. Control C to copy that from the previous page. Control V to paste and make sure I have my reverse geocode. That's the formula or the function we're put in. I will save that. I can go back into my sheet. Here we'll type reverse underscore geocode. open parentheses, and the syntax was, look, the first argument was looking for latitude, and then comma, longitude, close parentheses, and then press enter. And now it's loading, it's going out, and trying to load that information here. Let's see if it picked it up. Loading data, loading data might be taking a while to, to figure that one out. Ah, and it found the address. I'll just type in the address at the top here. I think it's running a little bit slow because probably my maps here are screwing it up because I think one of the, the markers is still trying to find it. So I'm going to delete this right click and then delete this map. So and look at here, it has picked up that address. Drag the fill handle down to copy and this, this should copy the formula, and as the formula is copying down, it's going out to the web to find the address for the latitude and longitude. Now with that, I can put this in, yeah, I can use this column, and then this column to create my geo map. Now all I need to do is select that column, press the control key to select non-adjacent cells. I've got that one selected, go to insert, chart, and let's see if we can create something that is similar to what we did earlier. We're gonna select our map here, and let's see if Google's smart enough to find it. Of course, it's looking at a world region view, so we go under Customize, Geo, and instead of the world, United States, and we can see it's picked it up too. So it's picked up the population parameters here, right? So the one with the, the most here, green, this one should be New York. If I click on that, it's giving us New York with the uh, 8 million, 8.1 million here, which is that one. So here, this is where we can use the script to look up and chart a geo map if we only had latitude and longitude. Now, another neat trick is maybe we don't want to use the geo map uh, feature in Google Sheets. We want to kind of put it into the Google Maps and have it kind of like rotate kind of nicely and have that coloring scheme in the Google Maps. We can actually do this. And it's only gonna take the first worksheet in your Google Sheets. So I need to move this to the very beginning in order to do this. And I would have to go into the maps.google.com and import this data in there. So let's see how we can do that. 
So once I'm in Google Maps, I'm going to click on the hamburger icon here. And what we need to do is go to your places. And in your places, we have to go to maps. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a map. So go to create map at the bottom here. And it's going to ask us where we're going to find our data. So I'm going to click import. And we're going to import it from Google Drive. So we can upload it from a device or somewhere else. We're going to get it from Google Drive. And it's that GeoMap. So it was that first worksheet from that GeoMap file that I had in my drive. So I click on that, click Select. And it's going to fetch the data there. It's going to look at the columns that are there and ask which columns are we going to use to place the bookmarks. So we're going to use latitude and longitude. I also have this latitude column, longitude column where I concatenate data, but it's smart enough to pick it out as separate columns. So it's nice. I'll just choose that. Click continue. And now it's going to ask to pick a column for the title. So the first column I had was the place names. So I'll select that. Click finish. And it's going to start to populate the, the map here with those familiar little teardrops, upside down teardrops, right? And so if I kind of zoom in, you can see that earlier, let's go back to my Google Maps, I had JFK Airport, right? And I put quantity 22, let's just say that there's 292 items or widgets there at that airport, right? JFK Kennedy, 292. Go back to my map here. I believe, let me scroll in a little bit more, or let's click on, hover over that or click there. We can see that it's picked up those columns of data from the worksheet. So we have our latitude, longitude, our latitude, longitude combination, and that quantity. And it's also given us the title. So this is another way that we can have data and overlay that data on a Google Maps. And you can also share this map with people. So it's kind of neat in that way that we created uh, some kind of extra data on a map. And that's using the Google Sheets data and also the Google Maps feature. So that's how you can create geographic maps with Google Sheets. And that's also some extra features of using Google Maps to kind of import your data in. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.